Hello everybody, my name is John, I'm the Game Bender. Today we're back with something older yet more unique on the channel that I've done before. It's called 60 Seconds Reanimized. Uh, for those of you that don't know the premise of this game, you have 60 seconds to grab as many survival equipment, equi as much survival equipment as possible. And then you try to survive un as long as you can. Um, let's see, it's, hmm, let's see, exploration time, 20 seconds, scavenge 60. Stock shelter, prepper style, some junk, pack suitcase. Um, yeah, we'll keep it on Fat Man. We will, it's been quite a while since I played this game. Uh, so, uh, all right, all right. Let's see. We can grab a water bottle on our daughter. Go, 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 go. And dump them in. Grab the gun. Survival book. And a map. There we go. Alright, so we got that. That's good. Grab our husband and some more water. Go, go, go. Alright, we're going to have to find Timmy. There's Timmy. Soup. Gas mask. Timmy. Alright, in there. Let's grab radio. Water. Alright, let's see. Soup. Uh, bug spray. Alright, alright. Throw that in there. We can finish off with soup. 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 To the shelter. Yes, we made it in. Woo! Didn't think we were gonna make it there, but we got we got pretty we got a pretty solid uh, amount of supplies, I'd say. Collect ten soup cans. Okay, I like the look of that. Collect ten water bottles. All right, let's see. So we got six soup cans, five water bottles. A gas mask, bug spray, a gun, radio, map, a scout handbook, a checkerboard, and everyone with us. All right, day one. All of us made it in the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. I, I don't know a diet solely of canned soup, but sure. Uh, our shelter used to be fully stocked, but somehow we always we we always found a better way to use the stock supplies instead of leaving them for an emergency. Once we had a soup dinner party. Another time we needed the rifle to help out our neighborhood watch a, in a vicious fight against raccoons. Luckily, some of the supplies were left untouched. We got a checkerboard. Our shelves were full of cans. We'll eat for we'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. That's other problems. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. This is this, this is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure this is a good amount of supplies. Alright, um, we don't need to give anyone anything for today. It's tough surviving these conditions. Let's hope this is way over soon or else we might end up dead in some wasteland ditch. That's not something we are looking forward to. All right, day two of surviving the apocalypse. We can go ahead and hand out some rations. We are not, we, it's hard not to worry considering our current situation. Some days we're still struggling to deal with this shelter life, but we can't lose hope. Everything seems okay with the Dolores. This morning has been calm enough for Ted and he's doing well. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today and no trouble Dared to cross her path. Timmy sees no okay as much as he can be in our current situation. Alright, we'll go ahead and split water and soup up like that. Uh, it looks like the area is still ir irradiated. Going to the wayside right now is a waste unless you don't mind getting sick. Um, Ted is happy to... Yeah, we'll 
do that. Mary Jane didn't have a single word today. This is very odd. Maybe someone should find out what's going on with her. Let's see. Did we not go out? Nothing solves problems better than an honest conversation over a hot beverage. We don't have the latter, but talking alone seems to do the trick. All Ted wishes for are a few drops of water. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane has been asking about it all day. Dolores is quite calm, given the solution. No news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. Water, soup, water, soup. There. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead. Actually, we will set... We'll send Dolores out. Let's see. We'll send her out with... I, we, I want to keep the gun for defense here. We'll send her out with the gas mask so she does... So she... Less chance she gets sick. Let's see. Day four. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. Ted is no longer thirsty. Mary Jane is no longer thirsty. Timmy seems okay. As she can be in our current situation. Food. Food. Water. Alright. Uh, we're either going crazy. This entire show is calling little insects or worse. It's worse. They're spiders. And not some immature ones. They're huge, furry, very creepy beasts. We've got to do something about them. Use the bug spray. Be gone with the spiders. Burn in hell, I say, for them. All right, let's see. When it when it when it's us or them, there shouldn't be any reservations when it comes to close choosing your arsenal. We knew those spiders stood no chance against well-aimed killing bug killing spray, so we used it. When it was over, the few remaining spiders fled. We started cleaning up and claimed an unexpected prize, a soup can that we didn't notice before. It was well hidden in the shadows and under a few layers of dead spiders. Ted is fine. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin-sized shelter? Nothing new to report on Timmy. Alright, so water, water, food. We really need, we really need more water from, uh, from Mary, from Dolores when she gets back. Every new smell attacks our noses in this little shelter instantly. There isn't much we can miss, so in a single... Brick fell from this, revealing a tight opening. Our senses were immediately invaded by a terrible stench. We should probably check out that hole and see what the source of that smell is. Yes. Check out the hole. Dolores still isn't back. I don't like that. Nothing seems to be on the radio. Uh, we looked into the hole, fearing something might come at us with claws, fangs, or other mutated and sharp body parts, but nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat who was trying to break into a can of tomato soup. He failed miserably. We have a feeling we'll be luckier than him, so we confiscated it. We gave the rat a proper burial in an empty can. He deserved that much. Ted is not complaining today, at least not very much. Ray Jane is feeling safe. Timmy is on his best behavior. How long will he last? Food... Food, water, uh, well, we'll get, we can, we can afford to give Timmy some food, but we'll, we thought we never lived to see a dancing cockroach. We saw him and we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. The good news is they're probably scared off. And your rats near the bad news is they're huge and will probably attack us when they get the chance. Uh, sure. All right. We got, we, we can't have cockroach, cockroaches the size of cats sticking around. I, I mean, we can't. Hey, it didn't cost us the buck. Yay. We, do not, we dodged a bullet this time. That is, if a bullet was huge, Harry had eight legs and a glow and a glowing head. Dear God. Hopefully we don't we won't have to deal with them again. Timmy prefer, prefers apple juice, but right now we should get him some water. Ted is not coming today. No, uh, join the trolls there across her bath. Alright, so Timmy needs some water. And we can still afford right now to give everyone some soup. We've been hearing strange noises lately. It's coming from outside. It's something that came into the shelter with us. Could it be? We found nothing. We feel like we might be going crazy. We should probably get busy with something to keep us occupied before this gets worse. Play on the checkerboard. Day eight. Come on, Dolores. Dolores! No! 
having some fun. Maybe let's forget about what? What was it again? Ted needs water. Mary Jane needs water. Timmy no longer needs water. Water. Food. 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 We're starting to go through soup a little fast, but I think we can, we'll be fine. As we're about to start our book club discussion on the bo only book we, we've all read, the phone book, we were interrupted by a rapid knock on the door. We found out it was a group of refugees who survived the blast just as we did. They were doing much worse than us and begged us to provide them with any water, food, or medical supplies we could spare. Ah, sure, we can give them a can of soup. No, Dolores still isn't back. We're going to have to send out another search party eventually. Our visitors had problems finding enough words to express their gratitude. Many tears were shed. Smiles and hugs exchanged, and they wished us all the best. It is a great feeling to help someone out. They left soon after to seek shelter in the ruins of our town. We hope they make it out there. Ted isn't thirsty. Nothing new to report on Timmy. All right. Uh, water. Soup. And soup. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. It's high time we start worrying about what's going on and start asking questions. Or at least listen to some reasonable answers. So how about turn, tuning into a radio station and learning a thing or two about the brave new world? What shall we hear? Is that Dolores? Dolores is back! And our gas mask isn't broken! Four and a quarter, three and a half. Okay. Uh, let's see. We were able to see, get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news! The fallout outside is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. The old library in the center of our town was reduced to a huge pile of rubble. The only things distinguishable in the ruins were... A few half-burnt bookshelves and the remains of the librarian's desk. Ah, uh, under the librarian's table, we found a lunchbox and some food in it. We wonder what could have possibly prevented her from eating her own lunch. The collapsed ceiling light might have taken her at stealing might have taken her appetite away. Yeah, uh, all right, there we go. That should have that should be good. Uh, under the design, under the debris, we found some water bottles. They're a bit dusty, but the liquid inside looks clean enough. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Dolores is really tired. Timmy has been talking about nothing other than water. This morning has been coming enough for Ted. Mary Jane's feeling safe. All right, so Dolores needs food and water. Timmy needs some water. Sorry about that. We're back, guys. Uh, let's see. So, well, needed water. Okay. Then we can, uh, let's see, I th no, I think that will be good for today. Uh, the state of the ways everybody's unknown to us, maybe we should risk getting to go out. After all, you only live once. Start prepping for an expedition. Ring, ring, there we were, thinking we could uh, never hear a telephone again when suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. I figure it's a phone booth across the street. Someone should go out and look. Timmy, you're fast. Go for it. All right, Timmy made it back safely. That's um, that's good. When he when we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of of Hill Valley. We started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. Lawrence would really love to eat. Uh, can we spare some water for Mary Jane? All right, so eat and water. Who should go outside? Uh, this time we can send Ted out there. Ted, wear the gas mask. You'll be fine. Day 12. Let's go, everybody. See here, Ted, so Ted, Ted left for the surface and he'll, we, we hope he'll be back soon. Loris has not eaten for a while. Mary Jane's no longer thirsty. No, nothing wrong with Timmy. God, Dolores, you, you really should have. All right, we'll give everyone a little bit of water today. I'll wait for the instruction room. Make contact with other 
Yes. Uh, the radio of ours was signed for the past few hours. We need our news. We need our music. We all agree on that. If it's refusing to cooperate, we need to meddle with it until it works. Mm-mm. I don't know. Yeah, we'll go for it. Please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break. That sounds promising. Yes. All right. It didn't break. Well, we did what we could, but we still can't hear a thing. Damn it. Dolores is no longer hungry. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new is happening to Mary Jane. No news is good news. No rations to be handed out today. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that one bra- that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy had comics about those, so you know they must exist, right? All we need to do is make contact with the military. Hi-ho, hi-ho, off to get into encrypted military channels we go. All right, we knew it. The government has not fallen, and they're coming to save us. They didn't give us exact dates in the radio transmission, but we're sure they they won't keep us waiting long. They said they will be in touch in a couple of days and told us to await further instructions. Today's been fine for the Dolores thus far. Mary Jane is feeling safe, despite... There are circumstances that we're going through. Timmy is being very brave. That means no rations for anyone. After Dolores returned from the last expedition, she was complaining of a minor foot injury. It might have been her right foot or maybe her left foot. One of them anyways. It seemed irrelevant at the time, but now both of her feet are swollen. We have nothing we can do anything about that with. So, sorry Dolores. Deal with it. All right, let's see. Dolores came in this thirsty. Has not eaten for a while. Water. Water. All right. I guess we can, we'll have to. God, that is. We don't have a lot left. Uh, you hear that? It sounds like a herd of animals are stampeding just above our heads across what used to be our beautiful lawn. They are not getting away with that. It might be a perfect opportunity to get some fresh food. Go for it. Get us some fresh food, Mary Jane. Is that was that Ted back? Oh no, that was Mary Jane. Alright, yes! Alright, we got lots of food. We found the herd and were able to bring down something that looked like a two-headed donkey. That was carrying a package of sorts. Before we could get to it, a giant bird of prey swooped down, grabbed the carcass, and flew away. All that remained were a few cans of soup that fell out of the donkey's pack. Dolores is no longer hungry. Mary Jane is no longer thirsty. Jamie is no longer thirsty. All right. For that, everyone can have some more soup. But sadly, no one can have any more water. Yesterday during charades, we learned that Mary Jane doesn't know how to tell anti-disestablishmentarianism. And it has left Dolores so- sorely disappointed. Jesus. High standards much. She insisted on... She insists on home... Or rather, shelter schooling Mary Jane a little. Sure, go for it. Because that won't drive her insane. Right, guys? Yeah, no, she she definitely won't grow to resent us. Ted is back. Please tell me he brought more water. Dolores is not us around. What started out as a spelling exercise has quickly found its way to a math revision, followed by a short physics course and ending on tinkering with random objects in the shelter. Mary Jane looks exhausted, but we can't deny the state of our shelter has improved today. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Atomic wastelands are hostile by definition, but there are some creatures that survive everything you throw at them, even nuclear bombs. One of them was was a monkey who seemed like it's been through a lot, and yet it was very lively and more than happy to accompany us on our expedition. While we explored one of the streets, our monkey companion ran away, only to come back moments later, carrying a can of food it couldn't open himself but it was happy to share it with us. At one point during our expedition, the monkey started making weird sounds and digging in front of us with a stick. A quick investigation revealed a few bottles of water. No one even tried to open. Oh, first aid supplies, yes. Then the same couldn't be said about those of, bottles of booze lying next to them. The monkey took us outside the town to what seemed like a hidden bunker. It contained some medical supplies. Our little trip to the surface might have been 
spotted and followed. We should be more careful next time. Ted is hungry. Ted is tired. Mary Jane is tired. There was nothing to report about Dolores. Uh, good Scotty is. Timmy is making the best of the situation. All right. Uh, Ted, you can have some food and water. Everyone can have some food. We are fully freshly stocked. We need to prepare another exploration. Uh, it's difficult to keep track of time down here, but at least you remember it's Timmy's birthday today. He's growing so fast. We should get him something every boy wants for his. Which birthday is this again? Get him some checkers. Let's see here. They said I make contact. Oh, that's just a uh, different thing. Okay. Well, let's continue on then, shall we? Day 18. All right, Ted, you still look absolutely dropped dead exhausted. When we were taking cover in the shelter, we barely had time to grab anything. So the checker set is missing half its pieces. It seems you can still play with the one half since Timmy has been enjoying himself. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted is still tired. A few days of rest is what he needs. Mary Jane is tired. Give her some time to recover. Getting something to drink Mary Jane for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. Dolores will not last long without water. All right, so it sounds like mm, drink, 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 feed. Uh, Mary Jane sounds good. Last uh, long that water, but he should drink. All right, yeah, so they're, they all need to drink. He Ted needs to eat. All right. Uh, let's see. We can send Timmy out there with the gas mask. Because the gun, again, I want here for protection. Because that is a way you can die in this game. Let's see what's going on today. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted has rested. Mary Jane seems sleepy all the time. She's no longer thirsty. Lois is no longer thirsty. Ted needs food. We're in a very sorry state for water. Uh, play a game, they said. It'll be fun, they said. They never mentioned picking one would be so much trouble. Alright, well, Ted's been fed. Mm, knocking at the door. I don't like that. We played I Spy, and it was pretty fun for the first three minutes. After that, everyone got bored of the letter W. Mary Jane seems sleepy all the time. She has no energy for anything. Ted isn't hungry anymore. Ted is really thirsty. Today, all right, so Mary Jane should probably eat and Ted should drink. Let's see, a young man paid us a visit today. He told us a, stri a story of his brave twin sister who went missing while spying a nearby bandit camp. He said that while these circumstances are far from perfect, they were in fact meaning to contact us eventually and meet us. He believes his sister was discovered and is currently held captive in that camp. He has a few men, but he could use all the help he can get. So, uh, Ted, go help him out. Go help him get his sister back, buddy. Ted, please come back. Okay, Ted Ted came back. That's, that's good. The young man was assisted by a group of other survivors, all armed but really friendly. We found the girl, threw her a weapon, and fought off the bandits guarding the exit. Siblings are happy to be reunited, but also very confused. Turns out the bandit leader is actually their father. Crazy small world we live in. Anyway, they were really thankful and promised to contact us again soon. Mary Jane seems sleepy all the time. She has no energy for anything. Mary Jane is very thirsty. He needs to drink something. Water's All right, so they both need water. Mary Jane could probably use some more food. We'll go ahead and give Ted some food since he... Just went out and fought. Uh, it's not the best time or place to make plans for the future, but we can't help thinking about what we can make of this terrible situation in our house. Is our house still standing, or will we have to move to some forsaken hole like Toronto? God, not Toronto. Anything but Toronto. Oh, the horror. The horror, not Toronto. Why Toronto? Timmy still ain't back. Uh, our relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. Mary Jane seems sleepy all the time. She has no energy for anything. Is no longer thirsty. No longer thirsty. Ted is fine. 
All right, so everyone is fine, so no one gets anything today. Uh, the boredom and science are overwhelming. Too bad we don't have a TV to keep us occupied, but maybe we could take advantage of some of our supplies and pretend there are props on a movie set. We have nothing. Oh, ooh, that sounds like more radio contact. That sounds like more radio communication. Ted and Mary Jane seem let down, but we have more important things to do than playing theater right now. When Mary Jane is tired, she becomes cranky. She should be better in a few days. Water. And you report Dolores. All right, so Ted needs water. The, arm, the army is on the radio again. They said they'll be scouting the neighborhood and need to find clear signs of survivors that are still alive. We were asked to, ha to leave a few cards in the base in the nearest bus stop to mark how many people occupy our shelter. We should get going if we want to make it before nightfall. No! No, we don't have any cards! Timmy, Timmy is back with a fro, and he brought cards. Timmy brought cards. He brought a bottle of water. Damn it, we missed our chance to let the military know where we are. This is a good bet they will get back to it. There was a good bet they will get back to us again, but when will that be? We need. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. When scavenging for supplies, one should check every possible corner, even if it doesn't seem promising. With that in mind, we've entered into the ruins of the local bank, hoping to find something more than piles of useless pre-apocalypse coins. Dear God, okay, so we have got food coming out our ass. It looks like the bank was robbed just before the blast. The vault was cracked open. The saw is hidden in teddy bears. Who does that? Anyway, we can see why they wanted to rob it so bad. The place was filled with tomato soup cans. How did it end up here? Maybe the mail had it delivered to the bank instead of a food bank. We have a shopping bag on the floor. Went to count when counters. It contained a couple of raw bananas, a hand cream, a pair of bunny slippers, and some bottled water. Tempting his just may have been limited water plus cards. Uh, plus a briefcase full of money. It looked like someone was making a deposit right in the balance while they were going. Plus the padlock. Spotted and followed. We should be more careful next time. Section. Guys thinking maybe we could just drive away from this nightmare somehow. Of course not. Most of the automobiles are completely burnt out. But if we find a solid base and scavenge enough parts, perhaps we could build a vehicle of our own. We'd better keep an eye out for those in, on future expedition. Mary Jane, see you all the time. Can we spare some water for Mary Jane? Dolores needs water. Timmy needs water. Water food. Water. Uh, Dolores needs water. All right, and then we've got so many soup cans. So many. Does that prepare for an expedition? Dolores should go outside. <coughs> Let's continue. Day 25. Almost a month stuck down in the shelter. I, I mean, this is... This is rough, guys. I think Dolores this time... We weren't sure if we would be able to find whatever was hidden by the author of the map directions, but soon enough the pieces started coming together. After an hour of digging at the local park, or rather what was left of it, we came across a working flashlight. Timmy is very hungry. Dolores is no longer thirsty. Or Mary Jane is rested. Ted is fine. All right, so Timmy needs some soup. You know what? Everyone can have some soup. Dolores. And you know what? Dolores, we haven't needed it. So you can go ahead and bring the gun. Do good for us, Dolores. Do good! I swear, if this is now the one time we need that gun. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she makes it back. Mary Jane is pretty fatigued. Uh, Timmy should eat something. If Ted, all right, so Ted needs water and Timmy needs food. Let's just end today. Something fun if we don't. Some might. Let's let's play with some cards. Let us play with some cards. Wonderful, wonderful. A fantastic day. There are a few things as relaxing as cards, and we only have cards, so a game or two doesn't hurt. Uh, Timmy still isn't rested. Timmy's no longer hungry. We can't leave Timmy without water. Uh, we should get Mary Jane something to drink. So. Both of them need something to drink. That is half our last bottle of water. 
That is not good. A sleazy looking trader carrying an equally scurry bag on his shoulder. It is a visit to the office. It's a simple one thing deal. For just one can of soup, we can get the bag and all its contents. Yes. Please be water. Please be water. It. You're kidding me. It was a cat. As soon as the door closed behind the trader bag, started to violently shake, I mean, screeching all the sounds, terrified, backed up against the walls. When the bees finally skipped, it turned out to be just an angry house cat. The feline gave us a menacing look and promptly sat down in the corner to clean itself. The collar says, Sharikov. Is that its name? Mary Jane is no longer thirsty. Timmy's re uh, rested. Timmy's no longer thirsty. Ted is fine. That means nothing for anyone. We, we woke up today feeling very uncomfortable. It was like someone or something was watching us. We could have... Swarm, we noticed movement in the shadows, if anything, besides the There's one good time to teach you who's the boss right here. Of course, I need the gun now that I sent the gun out with Dolores on a surface expedition. Because, of course. As we're running around looking for something to smash, the furry we run it with, it just disappeared, so, uh, so did one of our food cans. The question is, how did that devil fit in through one of those little holes? Ted, does, Ted needs to drink. Um... Alright, so Ted needs to drink. They can eat. Uh, open in the name of freedom. Came a shout from outside the door. We weren't sure who it claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people, probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. No. No, we should not open. That's a knock at the bunker door. All right, we stayed silent until the group on the other side of the door went away. They didn't show up afterwards, so we figured it was the wise thing to do. Let's just hope they don't come back in greater numbers. Ted isn't thirsty. Mary Jane needs water. And we don't have any more water for Timmy. Sorry, we're all out of water, guys. Siblings kept their word and visited us again with a request, seeing as they're slowly running out of space in their tent. Their group is attempting to build a small camp for themselves. They already gathered some reason, but they need to know the chapter down to it. So we do not have an axe. I am so sorry, you little kids. That sounds some more radio. Okay. Yeah, we are out of water. Hey, Timmy, you're just going to have to deal. I'm sorry. We wish we had an axe. Its wood chopping qualities are quite useful, but it's even better as a deadly weapon against bandits. Either way, we obviously couldn't help our friends today. Timmy, have some soup. Ted and Mary Jane, you can you guys can also have some soup. Uh, it's been a while since we showered. The smell in this tiny shelter is far from roses as it can get. We had the thought of washing ourselves. Too bad we didn't grab any soap along the way. But maybe we can make do with some. How are you? We get, uh, excuse me. Day thirty-two. All right, Timmy is still with us. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. If we can't survive just a little bit longer, dirty ears shouldn't be much of a problem. Should you, uh, a pair of strangers, probably bandits, searched the remains of our house above. We overheard them talking. One of them mentioned they captured a woman whose description matched Laura's. We don't think they will let her go. Timmy is in terrible shape. Uh, if Ted doesn't mean anything, it will last long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Food for everyone. Prepare for an expedition. It is still a fresh family, so we need to keep an eye on it. Believe, believe it or not, today we noticed something else on its collar. It seems to be a metal plate with an address on it. And it's not too far. Yep, yeah, go for it. Go for it. Uh, I mean, we aren't, we aren't going to... And yeah, there goes Timmy. Uh, before we reached the end of our street, we were stopped by two men wearing dark coats. and thought it was towards... The cat's picking up saying they've been looking for him for a while now. I suppose you sure I'll go to the lady would rather find out. Back to the shelter. The cat had him. Didn't seem to care. So why should we? We got to get the last few days. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Everyone has to drink something including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? Like water drinking in Sandy up in the shelter and ran away without looking back. He's not likely to return. We have no water, but we have soup. Eat the soup, people! Send Ted out with a briefcase. Uh, I mean, we, we've pretty much lost at this point. 
Um, Ted left the drink. He's saying he really finds something to drink fast. She can have soup. She gets soup. Use the playing cards for the military. All right, Mary Jane, you're not looking so good. The cards are replaced. So I need to just wait for the army to pinpoint our location. That shouldn't take long, though. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We're going to find her some water. She, we don't have water. We only have soup. Just when we thought we might have gotten a quiet day, we got invaded. A group of bandits on the other side of the door. Demanding we walk out hands in the air or they will come get in the hard way. That doesn't sound too good. Put a padlock on the door. Is the cat back? Day 40. We didn't think that a small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. It seemed that they have the, this whole break in a fair shot, but ultimately they gave them left. Too bad the padlock is in no shape to be used again. We need to think of other ways to fight things off minutes of soup hungry barbarians. We were able to defend our home this time. What if they come back? To our surprise, we found Cherikov back in our shelter this morning. We're not exactly sure why or how it came back. It is it is our good care. Is it our good care that it appreciates? Our kind hearts, optimism, or just our stockpile of soup cans? Only time will tell. When we tried to get in our shelter, we found another family inside. They were, they were very convincing with their shotguns and forced us to leave. When Mary Jane found out she is not getting a single drop of water, she got furious, stormed out into the wasteland, shouting over her shoulder that we'll regret this, and she's getting... Her water one way or another. We are seriously terrified right now. Of all the places we could have perished, this is probably the best one. Or maybe not. We spent 40 days in the shelter. Well, guys, that is the game. Thank you all for watching. We ended up being driven away from our shelter. But, that, yeah. Bye, everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic evening.